Six Minute English from BBC Learning English. Hello, I'm Neil. Welcome to Six Minute English. And with me here in the studio, ladies and gentlemen, is Finn. <laughs> Thank you, thank you, thank you, sound effects. <laughs> thank you, Neil. Is this all for me? I feel like quite a celebrity. Yes, a celebrity, someone famous, particularly someone in show business. That's the world of entertainment, theatre, and film. Today we're talking about fame and teaching you some related vocabulary. Yes, some celebrities are famous for their talent, which means their ability to do something well, like、uh, singing, acting, or telling jokes. And others are famous for, well, for being famous or being associated with someone who is. The names Paris Hilton and Kim Kardashian come to mind. Wealthy women with their own TV shows. But talking about celebrity, let me ask you a question. Actually, Neil, only if you play that lovely applause again. Go on, Neil. <laughs> I knew you would love this. Come、right. on, here it goes. <laughs> yes. Ah. <sighs> anyway, Neil, I I can give you my autograph later. Ah,、uh, you mean signature? An autograph is the signature of a famous person, Finn. Fans collect these and things like photographs. Yes, we call things like those memorabilia. For example, Michael Jackson's leather glove with shiny crystals. It became very famous in the 1980s when he presented his moonwalk to the world. How much was it sold for at an auction in 2009? Now, was it A, $150,000, B, $250,000, or C? Three hundred and fifty thousand dollars. I think Michael Jackson has some big fans in the world, so I'll say C, three hundred and fifty thousand dollars. Okay, I'll give you the answer at the end of the program. So the idea of celebrity seems very modern in some ways. Does it have a long history? Well, Lord Byron, a very famous English poet born in seventeen eighty eight, is considered by some experts. To be the world's first modern style celebrity, let's hear Dr. Corin Throsby, English literature researcher at Cambridge University. Why was Byron a celebrity? Listen out for the noun she uses in the first sentence, meaning a product or something for sale. If we think of celebrity as the moment where someone's personality becomes a commodity, so for Byron. The fact that he was popular on this scale that had never been achieved before, because his career had coincided with mass printing, but something more than that—that that there was a sort of secondary industry of Byron stuff. You know that there were Byron neckties. People wanted to look like Byron. There was this mass of people that loved him. He could no longer control his image. I think that that's what separates celebrity from the fame that had preceded that. So the noun was a commodity. She said that when someone's personality becomes a product, that's when they turn into a celebrity. She talked of fame so big you can't control your own image. That's your reputation, the way other people think about you and imagine you. Someone interesting in this respect is Justin Bieber.、Mm, yeah, are you a fan, Neil? I'm a massive fan of Justin Bieber. I love him. I believe you. He's a big name, and he's always in the newspapers. His fans are called believers, and Byron's fans were called Byron maniacs. That's the name his wife gave his adoring fans, though she wasn't too happy about them. Yes, Byron's life was full of scandals, actions which caused shock and disapproval among people. And for Byron, it was mainly his love life. He had affairs with men and women. For Justin Bieber, it's about his behaviour. He was accused of driving after drinking alcohol and of vandalism. Vandalism means causing damage to property. Poor Justin Bieber. Though he's very popular, his career started when he was in his early teens, and I think it must have been difficult growing up with this global fame. Still, I wonder how much his autograph is worth in the current market. 
Well, I don't know about Justin Bieber's autograph, but I do know about Michael Jackson's shiny glove. Mm -hmm. It became iconic in the 1980s, but how much was it sold for? Was it one hundred and fifty thousand dollars, two hundred and fifty thousand dollars, or C three hundred and fifty thousand dollars? I said C three hundred and fifty thousand dollars, and you were right. Wow, that's did, rare. Did you buy it? <laughs> it wasn't me, no. <laughs> Well, our time is up, but uh, let's remember the words we heard from today. Finn, we heard celebrity, show business, talent, autograph, memorabilia, commodity, image, scandal, and vandalism. That's it for today. Please join us again soon for Six Minute English from BBC Learning English. Neil, what?、Uh, you know what?、Oh. Go on. Okay, one more time. <laughs> you love it as well, don't I, you? I do. It's great. I'll join in. <laughs> Bye. That was BBC Learning English.